Hi guys, so today I am gonna do a challenge. I'm going to Watson's right now to buy makeup for only 500 pesos. And then I'll do a full face of makeup using only those items. Check how much things are first. Okay, so like lip and cheek tip, it's already 125. These powders are like 150. Oh look, contour and highlight stick. Maybe I can use that. It's like double purpose. 350 pesos. Highlight cheap and contour only. Concealer duo. 299. Go we'll check the other <laughs> aisles. Oh my gosh. For a palette like this, it's already my budget, my entire budget. Oh, look. 99 pesos. This could work. Liquid matte lipstick. I think I can get one of these things. 200 pesos, then I only have 300 pesos. I could use. This for lips and cheek and eyeshadow. And then I need concealer. 600 pesos, yo! No, too much. Too expensive. So this is 280 pesos for highlight and contour. I can use it as concealer and contour and eyeshadow all at the same time. Dude, this is gonna be impossible. How am I gonna do eyebrows and everything? Like, maybe I can use the eyebrow pencil for the eyeliner. Oh no. It's 249. 149. Light brown. I think this is good. I can use this for my eyebrows and I'm just gonna use it for eyeliner, right? And smudge it and then use. Then how much is this now? I can't even do mascara or anything. Can we make the budget higher? <laughs> We're gonna need some color. Like a lipstick that I can use as blush and something. Here, lipstick. Sorry. Patulong po. Meron kayong pinakamurang lipstick. Do you have one that's like under 100 pesos? I'm sorry, like I do my makeup pretty much every day and this is tripping me out that I can't just get what I need. And I'm gonna have to... Oh, maybe this one's good, okay. Hawaiian Punch. Okay, 88. 280 plus... 149 plus 88. What, 517? I don't even have mascara. I need mascara. 500 pesos lang ang budget ko. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna get the contour and highlight stick. The mascara and the lipstick. If I total everything up, it's 280 plus 130 plus 88. 498, it fits within my budget. I'm gonna show you how I'm, how I'm gonna put my whole face of makeup using three items. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky, but I can do it. 465. Whoa, 465, so my extra pa. Okay, so we made it back home. This is my loot bag. We got a couple of items from Watson's for 500 pesos. By a couple, I mean literally three items. So we have a lipstick for 88 pesos. This is Nishido. We have a highlight and contour duo stick from Nishido also. And oh my gosh, Nishido also. And we have a mascara from Nishido. 
This is totally not sponsored. It just so happened they were the, the, the only items that I could afford. We are at my makeup station now because I need the lights and the mirror. As you can see, it is locked. Locked. So I'm not using anything that I already have in front of me except these three items. So right now, I'm gonna take off all the makeup that I have on. Let's see what we can do with the three items I bought. I'm ready, let's do this. I guess first things first, I'm gonna use the highlight and use it as concealer. Oh, I think it's too white. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use it on spots that need coverage and highlight. Oh my god. Did you see that? I just squished it. By accident. I s accidentally squished it. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not so bad. Can you see it? I guess I'll, I'll use my hands. My fingers. Only beauty blender. No brushes. It's too white for my face. We'll blend it out. I should have bought a powder though. Okay, I'm not on a budget. Because how am I gonna set this whole thing? White stuff is blended. I'll blend the brown stuff. Dude, that's not bad. I think this is 280 pesos. It's not bad. It blends pretty well. So now you know, you don't have to spend that much for makeup. Like, makeup can get really expensive. Basically, I put so much of the, the highlighter, concealer thing, so it kind of became my foundation almost already. And then I just like, bronzed my, my skin with a contour, so it doesn't look too white. <laughs> there. Next. Lipstick, Nishido Juicy Lips in the shade Hawaiian Punch. Put it on my hand first and then put a little bit on my cheeks like so. Like a cream blush kind of look going on. I'm gonna put it all over my lips. Oh, that's hella pink. Yo, this isn't bad. I'm actually impressed. Marketing. Look what marketing and packaging does. It makes things expensive when it doesn't have to be. <laughs> so for my eyes, I'm just gonna use the contour shade here. I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. So it's almost like a brownish eyeshadow. Okay, I'm really bad at using this thing. I squashed it again. And then just blend it out with my finger. But I'm gonna take the tip and add a little bit under for an extra shadow underneath. Ah! Oh no! My nails are too long, but I'm just gonna smudge it so that there's like a little shadow line under eye liner thing going on here. But it might be too light. I'm gonna add a little more of the highlight to conceal under my eyes. See, just like dab, dab, dab. Look how this side is brighter, but there's depth within my eye. I think what's gonna happen is this is gonna be like a dewy, natural look because we don't have any powders. I wasn't able to buy any powder or any mattifying products. And then, we're gonna play with the mascara. Top and bottom. I'm also gonna use it for my eyebrows. Mascara on the eyebrows. So I am gonna take this tissue and wipe away the excess and then you just brush it up a little bit lightly to define the eyebrows without having to do to draw it on with a pencil because we didn't have enough money to buy eyebrow pencil and then you get the bushy look like the bushy natural eyebrow woke up like this look 
What I'm doing is I'm just brushing the hairs and making sure that I'm not touching the skin so that it doesn't draw black all over my my eyebrow area. Hey, I think this is pretty good. Then I was gonna do something where I'm, I was gonna try to do an eyeliner, but I don't know how this is gonna work. And I think this is just gonna mess it up, but I'm gonna try anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take mascara, put it on the back of my hand like so, and then I'm gonna take my nail and use it as a paintbrush. Like eyeliner. I don't know if anyone's ever done this for the for the 500 peso makeup challenge, but I'm trying to be creative here. <laughs> no! I'm gonna try to put a wing, and that is like the hardest thing to do. I can't even do that properly. Ow! <laughs> I can't even do a wing properly on a normal day with like actual product that's supposed to do that, but I'm gonna try right now just for you guys. See? Is it working? Dude. Did I just do that or did I just do that? Okay, time to do wing number two. Good luck. Definitely not as clean. Well, it actually looks really good. Is it even? Okay, so I'm done. This is the look. I used three items, a contour and highlight stick, lipstick, and mascara to achieve this cat eye, dewy, summery, sun-kissed look. And these are the three items that did the job for me all under 500 pesos. Moral of the story is, you don't have to spend that much. You can be creative with a few items that you, you have, but I mean, I do my makeup every day, so I feel like I do need a lot more products to achieve the, the look that I want, because this right now feels very oily. I didn't get to buy powder or anything to blot my face with, so I would just use tissue to do that. But because everything that I got is pretty much like cream. Yeah, it just kind of like melts away, especially because it's hot and the warmth of your skin already kind of makes everything melt into your skin. For less than 500 pesos from three makeup products, this is not bad. And I'm pretty impressed because I didn't even, I just thought of this on the fly to make an eyeliner with a mascara and using the tip of my nail and I think it worked out pretty well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and comment down below what other makeup tutorials or makeup challenges or anything, any video content that you want me to do, please comment down below and then I'll make sure to do that for you guys. So yeah dude, this is not bad at all. I like it.